here's how to post to Facebook and Instagram at the same time using Meta Business Suite, which is what they're forcing us to, to start using more and more. So when you come to Meta Business Suite, you'll see a button that says make a post. Today happens to be National Cupcake Day. Congratulations. Um, but it usually doesn't say National Cupcake Day. <laughs> so click on the, the, the button that says make a post. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and do that. And then when you do that, it'll either default to your Facebook business page or your Instagram. Now, assuming you've connected your connected the two in Meta Business Suite, that'll be a separate video. You can click here on the dropdown and then select both if you wish to. You can even do more. You can even post also to Facebook groups if you wish to. But I've selected, I checked both boxes. So now when I click away, you'll see that both of these icons are here. And then now I can add my photos because on if I'm posting to both Facebook and Instagram, I have to add either a photo or video because otherwise it won't post on Instagram. Instagram requires some kind of photo or video. So I'm going to click, click, just I'm going to add a, a random photo for my, for my computer. Okay, so there's, uh, I'm blowing the photo here. And then, um, all right, ignore product detected. <laughs> Let me know what, that, what the heck that means. There's no product here. And then here's where you can start typing in like, uh, hello, dear audience, blah, 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 blah. You know, you can type as much as you want, really. And notice that, uh, well, a couple of things I want you to notice. One is you can click on the um, edit button to actually change, you know, do things like filter and uh, what, is, what does text mean? It's interesting. Oh, oh, right. Text as part of, um, you can you can actually add text to this. So this this is kind of interesting. This is, this wasn't. Uh, okay, I'm going to go and type testing a text. So that's kind of cool. You can you can overlay text directly on the image that you uploaded. Uh, you can add stickers. Um, stay home. <laughs> Why stay home? You should get out. Enjoy nature. Um, and then uh, you can crop it how, however you wish to. So let's say I'm going to do uh, square square crop. You know, and you can you can you can adjust this. You can adjust this stuff. I guess the square, you can't really <laughs> expand it. It's square already. You can, you can shrink it if you want to, but you can also move it around. Anyway, so click apply. And then uh, here's what's, what's particularly interesting. Um, you can actually customize the post for each platform. Uh, so I'm going to click on customize to show you what I mean, what, what happens here. So what actually happens is you're not, you can't customize the image for each platform, which is kind of silly because they should allow you to but you can customize the caption for each platform at this time. So for example, on Facebook, you know, as you know, with Facebook posts, you can put a link that's actually clickable, right? So um, I think just www is needed, but if you want to be just in, if you want to be, you know, super uh, certain that it'll be clickable, you could, you should put HTTPS colon slash slash to it or HTTP, whichever your website is um, slash, you know, blog or whatever you want to add. Um, so the problem is Instagram does not take links, right? Um, actually, it's, I, I, I typed this in after I clicked that. That's why it didn't show up here, but otherwise it would have, it would have showed up here. So Instagram, you would type something like, uh, see the link in, in my bio, um, right? So something like, so that, that's the usefulness of customizing these two, in my opinion. And uh, and also, of course, hashtags. So on in Instagram, people are more likely to use hashtags than on Facebook. This is another thing, but Instagram hashtags technically would look better as the first comment rather than within the caption, doesn't matter, whatever. So then now you can schedule. You can schedule or publish now on both platforms and you know, you, you know, select the date. And, oh, interestingly, you can actually customize the, uh, you know, you, oh, I want to post to Facebook first. And then two weeks later, post the same thing to Instagram so that it's not, you know, it keeps it more interesting for my audience or whatever it may be. So that's, that's, that's pretty cool. That's there. And you can actually even click active times and uh, it'll tell you based on, based on your audience, what active times are. Um, yeah. So up to you if you want to do that and then click schedule and then you're done. Oh, one more thing. On the right-hand side, you can see how it looks on Instagram versus on Facebook. So you can just click on the menu to, uh, to, to, to see the preview. So I hope this helps. Comment below if you have any questions at all. And one question you might have is, can you boost the post directly? And uh, no. Uh, the, as of now, there's no way to automatically include a boost uh, to, to this post. Now, I'm curious, what if I 
took it to just one of the platforms. Can I boost post? Um, no, I can't at this time, but they might, they might add that in the future. So yeah. Um, here we go. Hope that helps.